Mano y mano. This is what the people want. This is what the people and the crowd want. So, it's Ronald Ana for me Making this second defense of his WBA lightweight title. Introducing Isak. Need to rematch Kalaga. Alright, Beltline is good here, gentlemen. I gave yourselves at all times. Touch him up. Back to your corner, gentlemen. 11 year pro Thomas Taylor has been assigned tonight's main event, working his 420. In the boxing world, Davis has juice, and he's wandered to LA where a star studded crowd has come. He's on Cruz taking the fight on short notice, already scheduled. The round round number one, Davis. Diego Magdaleno, who he starched in 53 seconds. At least he, he came out and stayed true to his brand, ripping the fight in a long time. He hasn't had consecutive as he prodigious power. Davis stumbling the American contingent. Yeah, uh, more vocal than we were in across the country. Yeah. Still a young fighter. Hey, Doing good, head. Keep him in front of you, head. Want that was well? Let me wrap it up. Trying to land that right and then the left to the body. Davis in movement using the Oh, there's that left uppercut again. 
Davis trying to get those uppercuts in, and here he winds up with one, and there, a very conscious effort by Cruz to block You know, Leo was backing uh, Davis. Mm. Lead left hand scores for Davis. You know, the straight left. Another left. Yeah, the straight land and left. Yeah, there was a lot of bombing and punching from Leo. Oh, and the jab and the right uppercut. So far. Oh, oh. now a right uppercut by. Yeah, no, I feel we need to look in the corner. Tie up, and there's again the uppercut and the straight left by Davis. And that's great. This guy got a lot of new tattoos. That great work. <laughs> and these two seconds left here in the fifth lead, right by Cruz, and then the left uppercut on the inside. And good defense, head movement, accuracy. Great race. You got to turn around. And then doing what we've seen his uh, promoter do a nice right right hand got in, but the left Davis and a right hand by Cruz and a left that's the oh well, Davis was right there yeah gave him the opportunity because Davis has been doing the angles working angles really well not giving Cruz a chance to let go of his hands by Davis and then the exit by Tank Davis and that left uppercut Cruz walked into it no punch no punch. Great left. Upstairs scores for Davis. And that uppercut, but yet not the right one. He has, you know, he, he's done a good job with that. This 12 round affair. In the early moment, here's where he gets through. That's that short right hand that we talked about. That's the uppercut. And again, it lands a little bit after your point. He's going to fall. When you hit him well, he's going to fall. So while we talk about him as a power puncher, four uh, rounds to two on cue. 58 56. Oh, nice counter left hand body by a determined Isak Cruz. And a couple of right uppercuts on the inside. Credit for that's a good one. Oh, it's so it's dead. Oh, good uppercut by Cruz. Oh, he's got a great right hook. And the crowd anticipates Javante. And he's almost free. The movement of Cruz less now. Some uppercuts are getting there, and this one got there. Very good one. Getting the head of Cruz. Cruz using a little more head movement and trips. And the Matador. And anytime we see a surge in the offense of Trevante, it's coming, and why not? It often does with Davis. 24 left. Again, the uppercut by different, a variety of combinations of boxing skills. And the icing on the kick for tonight will be just a knockout. Final 30 seconds of the eighth. Cruz delivering a lot of grappling as we head to round nine. He said, if you can do it, I can do it. Reminded us and told us, guess what? I'm not just a big power puncher. I have boxes. He's had good moments in this round, and there he rips a uppercut or right to the body, then a nice uppercut. Uh, Another aspect of it. And Cruz going to the body again, showing his hand speed. But it's Davis that utilizing the range and all delivers that uppercut. Making a miss, making him pay. Lane left scores for Davis. Interesting warning. But a lot of those punches are legal to the body too that he's dropped. There's a crafty combination. Counter right hook lands. Davis in, in that last round, you know, we talk about the variety of punches. There's people don't always associate with him, but he can punch very well in combination. The uppercut and then pick and go. Hey. I know a power puncher like Davis, when you see a 10th round, you think, oh, maybe it's a boring fight, oh, he's not fighting well. He started out the round pretty well. And it's amazing how he's just the spots where he wants to jab his way. Oh, my. Wow, well, got a block body and a flurry. That left took by Cruz, though, was the best punch he's, he's landed. Two rounds are straight ahead as Cruz goes back to the body. That round uh, did some great work with the right mm -hmm. hook. It's a pretty good round. There he, you know, he, he's working the body, and here comes that left hook. That was a good left hook he landed. That's the needed way. to defeat Gervonta Tank Davis. There's that lead right. Cruz patience is starting to pay off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
more serious injury and he kind of got tripped there over the leg of and still the undefeated WBA lightweight champion of the world Javante Tay Davis 